Hello Emma, it's Paula and it's May 17th. I hope you're having a great time at Camp Imidine. That is my favorite place. I love Camp Imidine. And we still go up there regularly and Paul and I go to their fundraising dinners and we just love Camp Imidine. So I'm thinking about you and hoping for good weather for you. Anyways, here's your lesson for May the 17th. I'm going to turn the camera to look at this sight reading exercise here. Okay, and we're going to start with some level one Royal Conservatory sight reading. Right here, if you could play this for me, please. So you should have played E and B using fingers four and one. Moving on to the next one, let's look at this one here. Notice the clef. Okay, and after you've done that, Check your answer. Did you play A and C sharp? Holding each for four counts. Now we're back to our favorite treble clef over here. Well, maybe not our favorite, but it's our regular treble clef. And go ahead and play those, counting to four on each one. Okay, and you should have played a D and an F sharp. And the last one is in the bass clef. Here we are. B e flat with our fourth finger, C with our third finger. That's line one. Now for number two, please tap your foot on the quarter note like this. Okay, and get your foot tapping. And then clap this rhythm evenly with your foot all the way along here. Just go slowly. Don't think too much about your foot. Just think about the notes. Okay, let's try it again. I'm going to tap instead of clap. So my foot's tapping quarter notes. And here goes my hand. Ready, and... Okay, if you want to watch with my foot, I'll tap on my leg. Okay, that, those are really good to practice. So your foot is keeping the beat and your hand is keeping the rhythm. And when you listen to music, when you're listening to somebody sing a pop song, you're listening to rhythm, um, which is the arrangement of their notes as they sing it. But underlying that is a steady beat, and you'll often hear a drum or a bass guitar just keeping a steady beat in their pop music. Okay, so that's what you're learning in that exercise. Now here it says to circle each pair of repeated notes and then to play this whole line. Okay, so let's take a look here. Let's start here. Do you see repeated notes? Yes, right there. How about here? Yes. Now moving to the bass clef, we're looking for repeated notes. Yes, right there. And if you said there, you're right. Good. So now I'd like you to try playing that and then I'll play the whole thing for you. I'll just give you a second to play it. And I'm hoping I'm zooming in on the whole thing for you. I hope that you can see it all really easily. It's hard for me to tell because I'm holding the camera, but I'm not looking at what you're looking at. So let's hope this works. Okay, now I'm going to play it. I'll do the first hand and then I'll switch hands when I switch the camera. Starting here on E with first finger. Now I'm switching the camera. Normally you wouldn't have a pause there going to here with my left hand, five on F. Let's do the left hand again, looking at the hand. Okay, good. So that's a good day of sight reading. And now I'm going to give you some ear training. Let me just turn to it here. Hey, I'm going to start... Oh, you can't look at it. Sorry, you'll have to look somewhere else. <laughs> I'm going to start in the key of C major. C, E, and G. 
and you have to play back what I play. Okay, so listen to whether I start on the bottom or the top. Okay, here goes. Did you play it? Here it is written out. C, D, E, G, E, right there. Good. Okay, so that's some ear training. Um, I'm going to send this video now because it's six minutes long and then I'll record one more that has some of your music. Okay, I'll be right back.